Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we'll create a table and then we'll insert values by using the different SQL queries. Okay, first we need to import our SQLite 3 module. So for that, we use the import statement import SQLite 3. Then we have to make a connection to our database and pass in the database name. If the database does not exist, it will create one for us. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. SQLite 3 dot connect and then empty parenthesis <coughs> name of our database. Let's name it student and then it has the extension database so sqlite 3 dot connect student dot database so once we make a connection to our database we pass the database name and if this database name does not exist it will create one for us good let's go ahead And I can save this to an object. So let's say I have a database object. So I can save this in my object database. Right? And once I save this, I can perform different operations easily. Let's, let's go ahead. So I can say database that execute open parenthesis in code drop table if exists so that's another query drop table if exists and then name of our table grades so what this will do is it will drop the table named grades if it already exists if it doesn't exist it won't do anything so we use the execute to perform various functions in database programming okay now once we have dropped this grades table and a database by the way contains hundreds and thousands of tables okay next we need to create this grades table right for that, I can use db dot execute open parenthesis create table grades create table named grades right and then it takes that table will have let's say three columns integer I mean ID column name column and score columns so you will have id and then name and then score so my grades table will contain these three columns and i have to specify what kind of values it will hold so my id column will hold integers my name column will hold text values and my score column will hold integers good now next thing we need to do is save those changes so database initially we made a connection and create this database if it doesn't exist then drop a table called grades if it exists and then we created a new table called grades and then have these three columns so we need to save those chains, right? And we do those by using the commit statement. So database.commit. Now, if I run it, and if once you run it and don't get any errors, that means this chain is good. So it's committed. Whatever we did here, it's committed. 
Great. Now I can say, okay, once I have that, let me go ahead and say database that execute. And then now I'm going to insert some values in my table named grades. So to do that, I use the insert statement. So database that execute, then I can say insert into my table named grades, right? What am I inserting? ID, name, and score, right? So I'm inserting those three values, those three fields and values are as follows. Values, let's say for ID, it takes integer, right? Let's say 95. For name, let's say John. And for score, let's say 97, right? Okay, so this will create one row in my grades table and it will have ID as 95, name as John, and score as 97. To make it simpler, let me start with ID 1. Let's say ID 1. Okay. And then let's let's create some more rows. I can have database that execute again insert into grades. What am I inserting? ID, name, score, and then insert these values. ID2, name, let's say Smith, and then grade, let's say 100. Good. So once we have these two rows, let's make a commit so that our change is saved. So let me come down here and say database that commit. then run that no error that means the information is updated <clears throat> now let's store the above result in some variable let's say I have a variable named results and that's equal to let's say database that execute and then I can say select star from grades from grades and then order by ID for instance so database that execute select star from grades order by ID this just means select everything from my grades table and then order it by ID so I'm storing that in a variable called results. And then I can perform some operations on this variable. For instance, I can say for row in results, right? I can simply print row and then run it. So I get here two rows, right? The first one is ID 1, person is John, grade is 97. Second one is ID 2, person is Smith, and grade is 100. This means it's just a unicode of the string John. Good.